Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Unreal Engine VR mod example. This time around, we're outside uh, in this lake kind of scenario. We have some mountains going on, some clouds going on. We have a car, a couple of sci-fi buildings in the back. And basically, we're going to be taking a look at DLSS 3 with frame generation in virtual reality using the UE VR mod. A couple of things here. First things first, what you're looking at right now is a crop view. So this is not what I'm actually seeing on my headset. Additionally, I am running this on a Lenovo Legion Pro laptop. And lastly, if you're a YouTube member on my channel, go to the community page because I'm going to let y'all download this so you can try it out yourself. If you don't know how to set it up, I made a tutorial about this. Check out the link in the comments below so you can go ahead and do that. You can control it using the mouse and keyboard, but that's kind of boring. I want to do this to showcase virtual reality capabilities. I'm using the Quest 3. It is plugged in via USB-C, so we're using Quest Link. We are using DLSS 3 right now at 33%. As you can see, it looks good, but you can see some artifacts happening in the reflections of the car, reflections on the buildings. And overall, it's okay, but this is really the ultra performance mode, if you will. So what I'll do right now is swap it over to 6 to 6%. So give me a second here. I have to swap over. So to swap it over to 6 to 6%, just go ahead and press J on your keyboard. And as you can see, the reflections on this car right now looks fantastic. And we really didn't take a hit as far as FPS goes. This is still pretty darn smooth. Uh, and by the way, this is using hardware ray tracing Lumen. So I have high quality translucency reflections. We're using two reflection bounces. So man, this looks incredible. I can actually use my controllers here to move around. So we can check out this car right here, which is the Liartis Cyberpunk pack that we talked about here on the channel that I got on sale. And overall, this looks amazing. This is honestly perfect for me. This is where I would say useful in my scenario, even on a laptop. Again, if you're using a computer or hardware beefier than what I have, you might be able to actually squeeze a little bit more performance out of this demonstration here. Looking good. Car looks good. I mean, this looks just fantastic, right? I mean, I knew realistic graphics was gonna come to VR eventually, but with this mod, it just, it just came much faster than anticipated. All right, so let's move on to the next keyboard shortcut, which is going to be K. Uh, it's going to be DLAA 100%. All right, so this is DLAA 100%. And the car, if you're following along, you're going to notice that it just looks fantastic. The reflections, we can see the clouds on the car, the water, the building. Again, this is not screen space, so even if I'm looking away, I can see reflections uh, uh, on the actual building, the sci-fi buildings in the middle of the lake, which is pretty darn sweet. And for this to run in virtual reality right now, a DLAA on a laptop, I'm recording this on the same laptop, OBS, 60 frames per second. I mean, just take a look at that reflection on the water there. It looks freaking fantastic. And if you want, you can move around it, but I am, you know, not getting solid 60 frames per second right now. There's just no way, again, on a laptop. You might be able to on your rig, but me, this is, this is as far as I'm going to go. Now, if you want to turn off DLSS completely, you can press the keyboard shortcut L, and that's going to turn it off. And you're going to be able to run this 100% natively on your machine. I would just be very careful, to be honest. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Being able to run this on a $399 Quest 3 plugged into a laptop. This quality, this fidelity, this is the type of metaverse that I would absolutely love to be in. Now, that being said, I'm going to be creating a lot more experiences like this that I'm going to let you download so you can play around with it, benchmark your computers or burn some GPUs. I'm not going to be responsible for it, obviously, but my goodness. This is some pretty darn exciting times we're living in right now. And again, with Ray Reconstruction coming out, as far as I know, to Unreal Engine 5.3 or 4, I want to try that out as well because I can guarantee you we're going to get better uh, quality coming out of that along with RTX DI that we've tried here and already with UEVR and it works.
But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you'll think. Again, if you're a member of my YouTube channel, go ahead and download it. It's not that big and play around with it yourself if you have a headset. Peace out.